Aw, let's get sweet, baby. We got some holiday candies, and we're going to show you what our favorites are. Let's go. Welcome to the 12 Days of Local Love. Local love for the holidays, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Local Love. And today, we are here for the 12 Days of Local Love. And we're going to be testing out some of our favorite holiday candies from the past. And maybe some of you guys enjoy them today. Who knows? So let's get started. Now, one of my favorites from when I was younger, especially... Who doesn't love some candy canes, am I right? I mean, candy canes, they're a staple in everybody's Christmas. Uh, a lot of people like the cherry ones. Me too, love the cherry ones. Probably better than the peppermint ones, but these were definitely a staple. I always got the little ones, you know, that you put on the tree. But well, we, we'd put the big ones on the tree and then we'd eat all the little ones. That's how we did it at my house. All right, guys, and another huge favorite were these peppermint ones. These are my favorite peppermints because these are Bob's, uh, what do they call them? Bob's soft, or Bob's sweet stripe, soft peppermint candies. These are amazing. Love these. They're super soft, you put them in your mouth, and they literally just kind of dissolve in there. I'd eat one now, but we still got more candies to go through, and I will be sampling some of them, but this one be a little hard to move on to the next one, you know what I mean? So let's get going. Another one, and this is more my grandmother. My grandmother had these all the time. I'm sure many of you have seen these. They are a staple year round for some people, but I think of these at Christmas because this was something that my grandmother always had in her Christmas dish. And you know, the red and the green. It's strawberry filled. These are delicious. I'm gonna show you what they look like here in case somebody hasn't seen these. They come wrapped, double wrapped actually, and they look just like that, and inside there is the strawberry candy. I'm gonna save this for later, for a later treat, so that I can keep telling you more about some of these other candies. Ones that aren't gonna stay in my mouth forever. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so these are some of my favorites so far. And let's see here. I also liked Bob's Sweet Stripes peppermint sticks same idea they're very they're somewhat soft they're not as soft as the little balls but i loved soft peppermint in general these were a definite favorite now one that we had a lot and i mean a lot in my household they were very old-fashioned we used to get them in the tan canister and they were uh, washburn's brand candy uh for any of you that know what i'm talking about or I'm probably aging myself quite a bit here, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure you guys figured it out right now. I'm no teenager. Uh, so this is what we called deluxe filled classic Christmas candy. Now this one's not Washburn's. I was having some trouble finding them. They're a little hard to find these days, but these were a big part of Christmas for me. We got them in a little canister and we take the little lid off and we just either put them in the candy dish or you know, we get these. These are filled as well, so there's little goodies inside. And there's just a variety of little filled hard candies. And they are delicious. This was a staple in my house growing up. We got this kind of candy. A lot of people get the ribbons. We never really did the Christmas ribbon candy, but this stuff definitely brings me back to my childhood. All right, so let's see what else we have here. Yes, this one. Now, we didn't get them in this packaging, and I'm sure you guys can see these are the M&Ms. I'm going to take it out of this cellophane because I feel like it's going to reflect, and you guys aren't going to see it. These were the holiday M&Ms. Nothing spectacular about them other than they're just red and green. If I can get them open. There we go. And Christmas themed, obviously. Okay, now... Oh, I can smell them through the packaging and they're so delicious and one of my favorite things when I was a kid my grandfather Actually made up a song about me because I loved them and him so much I'm not gonna sing it for you. So don't ask but we used to get these in the candy canes the plastic candy canes that had M&Ms in them Very good now these 
these are something special. Now, Palmer, I'm going to be honest with you, Palmer candy, their candy's horrible. <laughs> it's not great because it says chocolatey. And you see right here, soft, or it's a soft, crunchy caramel in a chocolatey shell. You know what chocolatey means? It ain't chocolate. But these are very cute. We used to get snowmen and Santas. Uh, I think we used to get the actual chocolate ones. But just to kind of give you an idea, they're very festive, they're very cute. And uh, they're not horrible. Oh no, Santa. It's just not real chocolate. Mm, it's good though. We'd eat again. Mm -mm. That's actually not bad. It's just something about that chocolate. Really off. Okay. I don't think there's much I need to say about Ghirardelli. Ghirardelli, excuse me, Ghirardelli's amazing. Now this one, hopefully you guys can see this. They have three different flavors. It's kind of a sampler for holidays. They have white chocolate eggnog, peppermint bark, and milk chocolate pumpkin spice caramel. And it's nice because you can reseal these and you don't have to, you know, worry about they're also individually wrapped, so that's cool. Having a hell of a time. Should have opened all this stuff before we started, huh? All right. Okay. So we're going to try one of these, because maybe a couple of these, actually, because personally, I love eggnog. I mean, I love all of these flavors, so we're going to give them a try. Now, they do have some other holiday favorites, but... Giardelli, in one form or another, in these little squares, almost always make like a Christmas treat. More when I was adult than when I was a kid. We're gonna try the pumpkin, uh, pumpkin spice caramel. Milk chocolate pumpkin spice caramel. Now, this is chocolate, right? Mm. I'll be basic for this. I'm okay with this. If you love pumpkin spice, you gotta get this. You really do. It is milk chocolate, pumpkin spice caramel. It is so delicious. All right, let's try the other ones. Now, I personally love eggnog. So this one's white chocolate eggnog. I'm really excited. You guys might hear my cat. My mama cat, she likes to cry to get my attention. She's an outdoor feral kitty that we've taken care of. And uh, she's arriving for her daily petting. And so you'll hear her crying. Nothing I can do about that, but... Woo, baby, this smells like eggnog. I gotta tell you. Mmm. Mmm. Some people don't like the consistency of eggnog when you're drinking it. It's kind of like a heavy drink. If you like the taste, but not the way it's, it's thick going down, these are ideal. I'm not a huge white chocolate person, but if it tastes like eggnog, I'd be there for it. I'd be about it. <laughs> Hopefully some of these were your favorites too. All right, guys. The last in their holiday series that I got. Now, there was another collection. I didn't get that one. You get the idea. This is pretty obvious. It is the Peppermint Bark Giardelli. Giardelli. I'm having trouble with that. Peppermint Bark Giardelli. Mm. Let's try it. Mm. Yes. I like almost anything peppermint, as you've probably noticed. It's pretty good. Mmm. It's a little bit, it's like super peppermint. I like it though. The white chocolate tames it down and then it has like a milk chocolate bottom. I'm digging that vibe. I don't know if I've had this particular one. It's good though. I'm sure I probably have. Very good. Now this is gonna be one that some of you love and some of you really hate. Chocolate cordials. For those of you who can see the the chocolate with the 
sugary syrup inside of there. Now, I didn't want a huge box because I don't hate them. I'm not their biggest fan. It's a lot of sugar, man. I mean, this whole video is a lot of sugar. But uh, these, these are really good. I just wanted a little box of them. Oh, good, they're individually wrapped at least. So, let me get a tray out and we'll try one together. They come kind of like this. And there's uh, four trays in this one. But you can get a smaller box of these too. You don't have to get a huge box like this one. There's like 20 in this box. Like you'd get in a candy box. Delish. I knew that would happen. That's why I leaned forward. They're sticky. I didn't show you that one very good. Hold on. Once you break in, you get this. And then there's a cherry in there. Very messy. Hugely messy. Delicious, but messy. I think that brings us to something else that we used to get. It's kind of our, our parents' joke is we'd either get, and sometimes both, I guess, we would either get little bags of coal. Whoops. I'll pick that up in a second. And inside, of course, is chocolate. In this case, it's like crisp chocolate, but I've had it with regular just solid chocolate or crisp chocolate. And again, it's that Palmer candy, so it is not very chocolate. It's got Rice Krispies in it. Not bad. And this was just, you know, Santa's Coal by Palmer's Candy. Parents being funny. I think this one's a staple for a lot of us. Hershey's Kisses, right? Okay, so these are actually candy cane mint candy with stripes and candy bits. So these aren't your just traditional ones. We used to get the red and green and silver ones for the holiday. I was trying to get the sugar cookie ones that they have now, but they're really hard to find. So we're gonna try one of these. I don't think I've had the candy cane flavored one yet. Oh, it's so cute. Maybe I have. And it looks just like that. Really cute. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah. So it's white chocolate with candy bits in it. Very minty. I love it. Very peppermint. It's kind of like peppermint bark as a kiss. I like it. This might be a new favorite. Very good. Russell Stover's. Now, not particularly this particular type of chocolate. Usually you get the little foil ones, you know, that kind of have little foil things on them like that. And then they'll have like marshmallow chocolate Santas or peppermints. But also these kind of candies or the bike big boxes. This one is just kind of like a sample. So there's only like a few in here, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea. Russell Stover's, they know their Christmas. Russell Stover's, they know their Christmas uh, candy. And there's some dark chocolate. And let's see what flavors we have here. We've got dark chocolate. we got caramel. So there's a variety of things that you can get. I think we'll go with this dark chocolate one. But Russell Stover's, high quality, man. High quality. Very delicious. You cannot go wrong with this for Christmas candy. Mm. It's the good stuff. Another staple in my house when I was a kid. We always had these in our stockings. Gold coins. If you've never had these, these are Palmer too. They're just, uh, this one actually says milk chocolate coins, so they might actually be milk chocolate. We're gonna take a little one. This one's like a quarter. It literally looks like a quarter, which is unusual. Usually they just look like made up coins, like pirate's treasure or something. This is actual coins. I haven't actually seen that before. Now these are tricky to get into sometimes. You gotta find an edge. There it is, got it. I'm gonna literally just wrap the whole thing so tight to make it look like a real coin. 
And it's even imprinted on the inside as well, which is pretty cool. So it looks like a quarter. Pretty good. Still tastes like childhood. All right, now my pick for number one. This was not from my childhood. This is more of a modern day favorite. But I think that this is hands down one of my favorite holiday candies that you don't make yourself, you know, just like store-bought stuff. I mean, obviously there's some handmade or, you know. These are Peppermint Christmas Nougats and they are put out by Brock's Candy. They are my favorite. They also make them in a cinnamon and I think in an eggnog, I'm not sure. But, oh, my goodness, this is definitely like my mom's and I's favorite and there's a little Christmas tree kind of looks like one of those clay beads that you can that you can make out of FIMO clay but it is sticky it's a nougat this is my favorite if you've never tried this do yourself a favor and find the bag Walgreens Walmart these were from Big Lots they're soft they're chewy and they're just loaded with peppermint hands down my favorite I will have to take this away from myself not to eat this whole bag. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> now, honorable mentions. This is not candy, but it was in my household a lot as a kid. Royal Dansk butter cookies. These are Danish butter cookies. They are amazing. Now most people go, oh great, I got butter cookies. It's a great gift. Honestly, we don't usually get the big one. This was all I could find, but it won't be a problem because there also happen to be our favorite here. Now this is not candy, clearly. It is a holiday treat though that I've associated for years with the holiday. Now we get them year round sometimes if we feel it. You can find these year round. I am having trouble getting into it. Oh, there we go. Okay guys, we got it. This is a little bit tough. Ooh, when you whip these, they're so good. It says our butter cookies are baked in Denmark. So these are from Denmark. They're an import from Denmark and you can see all the different ones. And just look at that. Let me tell you something. These are the best like dipping cookies, like to dip in your coffee. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. They're not too hard. They usually have sugar on top of them. They come in several different uh, varieties. They all have the same taste, mind you, but oh my goodness, these are the best. This does make a really great gift, by the way. So if you have somebody that likes cookies, they're fairly inexpensive. You can get a smaller tin if you don't want to get them a huge one. But if you're giving away to a family, this big uh, 24 ounce one is, is perfect. And you can get this for about, you know, 70 bucks. The smaller ones usually around three or four. So it just depends. So guys, those are my favorites for the holidays. Tell us what yours are. Show us on Instagram. You can go to local love underscore now and send us a picture of what your favorite holiday treats are uh, as far as candy or whatever. We would, we'd love to see everything you guys are doing for the holiday. Maybe somebody out there isn't celebrating Christmas and you have a particular Hanukkah snack or something that's Kwanzaa or whatever. Share it with us. We'd love to see it. Guys, it's starting to rain on me, so I'm going to head in. But thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. We appreciate it. And have a happy holiday season. Peace. Forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends and hit that bell so you know when we have a new video